tipping at Walt Disney World. It's one of the things that I get asked about quite a bit. Who should I tip? Should I tip this kind of person? Should I tip this person? Um, it's kind of confusing. It, it, it can be a little bit confusing about who to tip and who not to tip. So what I thought we'd do is to talk about who you should tip and who you don't need to tip. I'm going to look at my notes a lot because I want to make sure I get this right. So let's start with who you should tip and roughly how much. You can do more, uh, but you should tip probably these people at least as much. As much. So, so like the luggage, luggage first, first person you should tip, first person you're going to come in contact with if you fly is somebody that handles your luggage. <clears throat> now, you can carry your own luggage back and forth and, and not have anybody else touch it. That's fine. But if you use uh, the services in the airport, the, the guys that have the carts that, that push your luggage, if you go on Magical Express and you leave your, your bag with the bus driver, if you go in a taxi, if you go in a, uh, any, any time somebody handles your luggage, including the Magical Express people that take your luggage when you're getting on the plane to come back, you should tip them one dollar or more per bag. Two dollars if it's a big, heavy bag. Um, so luggage handlers, I mean, even, even the guy <clears throat> that drives the shuttle to the parking lot at your local airport, one dollar per bag. Um, <clears throat> at table service restaurants, the restaurants where you sit down, they take your order, they bring you your food, um, take what are considered Disney's table service restaurants. The, the, the normal amount now used to be 15%, but now it's gone to 18 to 20%. If you're in a, in a group of six or more, you're going to be charged, a, it's going to be on your ticket. I mean, it's going to be on your 18% is going to be put into your bill. Uh, so six or more people with six or more or uh, groups of six or more are going to automatically have that in their bill. But um, uh, if you go to a table service restaurant, you should tip 18 to 20 percent. Uh, mousekeeping, housekeeping, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, you know, no, this is this is one that for years nobody did, but it's kind of become standard that you should tip one dollar per day per person in your room. So if you have five people in your room, that's five dollars a day. And the way to do that at Disney is to put it in an envelope. A lot of people make cool envelopes, but to put it in an envelope, uh, put the money in an envelope every day, every day, not just once a week, once during the week. Put it in an envelope every day and leave it somewhere where where people can see it, where the, the housekeeper will know what it is, make it very clear, this is for them to take. So $5 or $1 per person per day and pay every day because you're not always going to have the same person doing the housekeeping, the mouse keeping every day. All right, so personal services. You go to the spa, you uh, do... Uh, <clears throat> You do something with a boat, and there's a boat driver. You get instructions, tennis instructions, um, something like that. Any kind of personal service like that, it's typical is 15% or more, if they do an outstanding job, 15% or more of the total bill. All of these are before tax. Uh, anytime it's, it's, you can look at the bill before the tax and 15, 18, 20% before tax. So personal services should tip 15%. This is kind of the same as you would do at home. When I go get my haircut, I go to my haircut place, I tip. Uh, so it's kind of the same as you would do down there. Um, so who you should, now let's talk about who you sh don't need to tip, who you probably shouldn't tip. Um, quick service servers. So if you're at a quick service restaurant, Casey's, be our guest for lunch. I was very surprised. We went to be our guest uh, two weeks ago, <clears throat> we were there for lunch. And, you know, those servers do a little bit more. They bring the food to your table. There's a little more interaction. It's not like, it's not like Casey's Corner where you pick up your food, you go to your table, you get your own stuff, you get your own drink. It, 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 be our guest at lunch. Yes, you get your own drinks, but there's a little more interaction with the server. So we thought it would be nice to tip the server. And, uh, we talked to her about it and she said, no, we don't accept tips at lunch. 
we have to take those and we have to put them in a, and we don't see it. It just goes to Disney. So the quick service uh, people at lunch, you don't tip. Uh, quick service people, including be our guest at lunch, you don't tip. Uh, concierge, uh, the concierge desks in the hotels. Those people, you can offer them. It's tip, it's standard to offer concierge uh, a, a, when they do something for you to offer them a tip, uh, typically, and they're not supposed to take it, so they won't take it. Uh, but, uh, the concierge desks in the hotels. Now, if we're talking about the concierge services, if you're in a suite where they make reservations for you and things like that, yes, those people should be tipped. We're talking about the concierge desks at the hotels. Um, bus drivers, boat, monorail drivers, um, just the regular day-to-day -day bus drivers, Magical Express, if they carry your bag, then that's a separate deal. But the regular bus drivers, you should not, you don't need to tip. And they should, they won't accept a tip. In fact, um, Cast members, you know, also another one is cast members around the parks. They can actually be fired for accepting tips. So um, it's one of those, while you think it's nice to offer, talk to them before you actually offer them money. So somebody doesn't get the wrong idea. Ask them if they can accept tips. If there's any question, just ask, can you accept tips? And then you tip. Um, <clears throat> so... <laughs> Those people that you can't tip, what can you do for them? That you, you want to thank them, you want to give them recognition. There is way, there is a way that you can give those people recognition, even though you can't tip them. And that is through, um, what's called, uh, well, it's guest communications. There is an official comment card for cast members at all of the parks guest services location. You get that comment card, you fill it out, make sure to get the cast members right off their name tag, get their name and their hometown, fill out that comment card. That that does more for them, most of them, for the non-tipping ones. That is what, what shows management that they're doing a good job. They get a lot out of those good comments. So uh, do... When somebody does something above and beyond, get their name, get their hometown, fill out those comment cards. Wait till you get home. When you get home, you can write. Uh, there's an address. We'll put it down in the comments. Um, <clears throat> there's an address you can send it to. Um, and uh, just send a comment. Be sure you've got the name, where they were, describe what happened, and uh, <clears throat> name and hometown, and Send it into Disney. That really helps those cast members. Disney does pay very close attention to those kind of comments, and it really can help them, helps them get promotions, um, all that kind of stuff. The bottom line is tipping is important. Who you can and who you can't tip. The people you can tip, they depend on that for their livelihoods. Um, they don't get standard minimum wage or their their wages are reduced for expecting those tips so it is important to tip those people uh, that do services for you um, it's a great way I mean it's just be generous be happy you're at Disney World and, and in life it's it's just the the attitude as I hear a lot the attitude of gratitude be be thankful when people help you out. Uh, it's just a good thing. Be thankful. All right. All right. Enough of that. Tipping at Walt Disney World. Very important. Thanks so much for watching Dad's video. For more simple, fun, magic Walt Disney World information, go to Dad's Guide to WDW.com. You can do that by clicking the I button that's popping up on the screen right now. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and get more Dad's YouTube videos with Daditude.